Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I want to show you how easy it is to do some screen captures of what's on your computer display and then share those with me. So I'm going to have a number of assignments where students need to send me a picture of what's going on on their screen. And these are usually small scale activities. I want to make sure you got some software installed. I want to make sure you did something that and sometimes a picture is just an easy way to look at it. For students in web development and JavaScript, in the, especially in the first few weeks of the term, sending me a screen capture of your code or your markup uh, is a pretty easy way for me to access that picture off of my tablet or phone. I look at it and I can usually kind of spot syntax errors just by the picture. As our stuff gets more complicated, then I'm going to want you to publish those uh, those pages and that way we can look at them completely and look at them online and stuff like that. However, taking screen captures is pretty easy. The most common little hiccup, I suppose, is going to be for students where the print screen button does double duty with something else. So everybody should have a print screen button on their keyboard. So on this keyboard, let's see, actually let me look at this uh, Lenovo one here first. So although the print screen button is usually in the top right portion of the keyboard, on this particular keyboard, the print screen is right here in the lower right. So you can see it's PRTSC. So that's the print screen button, and that's a dedicated print screen button. Now, if you just press the print screen button on your computer, likely you're not going to notice anything happening. However, it's taking a picture of whatever's on your screen at that time. And a quick way to test it is to press the print screen button on your computer, jump over to a, a Word document or an email, and just Control V as in Victor to paste, and you should see a picture on there. That works for a lot of folks. Now, if your keyboard is more compact, you're using a notebook computer, there's a good chance your print screen button does double duty with something else. So this is a Dell keyboard, and it doesn't matter the manufacturer, different keyboards will do this. So on this one, you can see the print screen button in the upper right shares duty with the end button. And you'll notice the print screen button along with some of these other functions are in a slightly different color, which corresponds to this little function key down in the lower left. So what this user would have to do is they would press and hold the function key and then click the end print screen key. But it, could, it may not be in, but you're still looking for that print screen option and that will trigger the print screen. Now for Windows users, they've got this little tool on here. Um, let me just do a search for snip. It's called snip and sketch. It's the snipping tool, but snip and sketch and press the Windows logo key, Shift and S to snip, snip what's on your screen. Okay, so there's a weird keyboard combination to get that, but basically um, when you do that, you do get a little crosshair and you can click and drag on something on the screen and that'll automatically insert that capture into an editor where we can highlight, crop, and do some stuff with. We could save this, notice a little save option in the upper right. We can save this as an image to our computer or this button right here, which is probably the one you would use most, you can copy it to your clipboard and then you could paste this edited image into a document or into an email, like if you're going to be sending it to me, or you could also paste it into a uh, Teams chat, uh, something like that. So that's pretty useful. Now, if you think you might use the default snip and sketch application in Windows pretty regularly, you can go to a setting, let's see, here we go. You can look for the print settings, just do a search for print and you'll find it. And basically what we can do is we can rig it so, use the print screen button to open the screen snipping tool. So if you press, now mine's currently on, so if you press the print screen button, it'll automatically engage that application and you can go right into it. That's a pretty smart thing to do. Now if you're pretty sure you're going to be taking even more screen captures, here's what I do. You might check out a separate utility that you could install on your computer. Uh, I've not used ShareX, but it's extremely popular and I've heard a lot of great things about it. So ShareX is a free program you can download and install. And when you install these screen capture utilities, it'll take over your print screen button. So when you press your print screen on your keyboard, it'll launch this application. Um, now the one I'm a fan of is GreenShot, also free, open source here. And um, it's pretty nice. I think it's a little bit simpler and faster than ShareX. 
But now, when I press my print screen button on my keyboard, I get the crosshairs, and I can click and drag over a section of whatever I want to take a picture of, and then I have a number of options. I know these are tough to see here, but I've got some options to save automatically to my computer. I can copy it if I want to paste it right away, go into Microsoft Word. Um, I can open it in a little image editor, which is on my other display. And you'll see I've got this picture where I can do a number of things and students in my class will see, yeah, I probably do this quite a bit because then I can draw little boxes on stuff and I can draw arrows on things pretty easily. I can crop, I can blur stuff out when I need to. I'll do that real quick. So I'll just blur something out. There we go. So I can do all kinds of stuff and then it's easy enough. Once again, I can hit a copy button, little, little uh, clipboard up there. I can copy that and then into an email or into a team session or into a Word document, control V as in Victor to paste, I can put that picture right in there. So either way you go, you want to get to a point to where you can quickly and comfortably take screen captures and share those with me because it is going to be a good essential skill. It's also just darn helpful to show a picture when you're confused about something or you need to reference some kind of an error message. So don't forget, different screen capture utilities are out there. GreenShot is the one I'm a fan of. ShareX is another good one. But you can also get really good at the native screen capture utility on your computer. Thanks for hanging out with me.